everyone, Dmitry here for Roofing Insights and this is our last video in a series of who makes the best shingle in 2018. For the last six months we've been comparing shingles by Olympic system, uh, comparing them from one to seven against each other. Today in our final video, in our final announcement, we're doing something completely different. In respect to all big players on the market, we're only going to compare them in the two categories. Pretty much what we've done, instead of comparing them one to seven in the final, we felt like it was a little bit unfair, so we broke them in the two categories. Category number one, tier one, and category number two, tier two. So the way we come up to, with our conclusion, we mainly look at the three key factors. Number one, initial quality of the shingles. Everything we possibly could measure. Nailing zone, weight, how much manufacturers do know about their shingles. We've been calling manufacturers, asking things about their weight before we weigh them, and so on. And then we would compare them against each other. Second factor was feedback from installers. Huge factor here. Uh, what installers are saying? Do installers enjoy installing the product or do they have negative feedback? What do they have to say about these brands? And thirdly, online brand reputation. Do consumers at the end, homeowners, enjoy the product or there is a class action lawsuit or there is a major issues with the product? So those three were the key factors how we come up with our conclusion and here's the final result. Tier 1, Atlas manufacturer owing scoring certain teeth and malarkey in our humble opinion are tier 1, the best of the best asphalt manufacturer uh, companies in the country right now and uh, uh, number 2, tier 2 is Pepco, IKEA, Tamco, BP and some private labels. Private la labels are standing for some products that are made by these manufacturers but they're kind of like second grade or a little bit lower quality, more of a builder's trace. We have quite a few, uh, for example here in Minneapolis, it was produced by Atlas. We bought them, we tested them, but the quality of that shingles is actually less than uh, the main uh, line. So we put them just in the private labels. So here's what we think. We think is tier one is your premium brands, it's a premium product. Uh, they have most fans by installers uh, and majority of the installers, what we noticed in the forums, um, in the commu roofing communities, have huge respect to other brands. For example, if you install certain teed, most certain teed installers would recognize other three players. The same goes for Atlas, the same goes for OC, the same goes for Malarkey. So these four brands have most followers, most fans, and most installers who swears by their brands, but also, even if they don't install other brands, they still speak highly about them. Now, on the other uh, hand, uh, tier two, Products who ended up there, they either have major problem with the quality now or uh, in the past, maybe some reputation issues, maybe quality, initial quality that the roofers don't like. Uh, Pepco kind of a little bit at the top. I would say Pepco is very close to get to tier one, but still with the size of the brand, with the issues we've seen, uh, they're still going to be there. But it was a pretty good surprise. Lots of issues with the IKO. Tamco has pretty bad reputation online. Uh, with their warranty claims and things like that. BP, Canadian company, the same. Uh, a lot of people are saying bad stuff, installers not really happy with the product, and of course, private labels. One thing is there's one brand, you can see it here, big brand. Uh, obviously, we could only uh, speak our opinion about something we actually tested and we uh, compare against each other. So there's one brand that we invited to participate and they didn't. Um, we want you to know, we want, want to make public announcement that everybody is welcome. So if a big brand wants to be part of this comparison, they're welcome to come to us, even with their reps. We would love to compare their shingles and put this on the chart. Right now, they're just going to be uh, right here, kind of in between two categories, and they're not part of this comparison. So this is the result. And I would say, you will not be sorry if you choose any of these four brands. Now, the second brand also not bad. 
Uh, if that would be me and if I would be choosing brand for my own house, I would choose from here. Now, either one of those asphalt shingles also will last, but maybe, maybe you're looking for something cheaper. Maybe you're looking for something builder's grade or something for your cabin or something for that you don't need to last, you know, 25 years. Either one of those will last five, 10 years, no problem. They're gonna look decent. There's pretty much nothing wrong with that, but we still want it to be fair and we feel this is reflects the reality. This comparison is very, very accurate. We at Roofing Insights standing behind it and we want it to be as scientific as we possibly can. Obviously, it's our opinion. I do believe that this opinion backs up by thousands of installers in the country and please let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments below. Maybe you have better experience with my top four versus other four. I want to hear from you. I want to hear your feedback. We listen to everyone and we invite everybody to participate in our future test. Thanks for coming. Let me know what you think in comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.